On this channel, I'm bringing you awesome products that I've thoroughly tested and reviewed myself. Um, I'll show them for you. You guys check them out, let me know what you think. Also, what I like to do is bring you guys um, you know, maybe some lessons or some advice of, from things that I've learned over the years. Uh, a lot of it is from uh, other influencers online, you know, whether it be any, any number of, of people. Um, but what I wanted to start with in today's video was uh, about saying no and why more successful people often say no than say yes. So what I mean by that, what I used to think was, like a lot of people, that to be successful, you had to say yes to everything. Excuse me. You had to say yes to the overtime. You had to say yes to the meetings put on your calendar. You had to say yes to going out and having a drink with your buddies or with your coworkers, thinking maybe you know you could uh, network or build a relationship that might help you get a job or a promotion because that's just how life works, right? Sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know. Uh, so I thought saying yes to all that, saying yes to helping somebody that needed help, but someone that you did, you knew either wouldn't or never would reciprocate uh, in the same instance if you needed help, but you did it anyway. And sometimes that can be a virtuous thing, but I've also found out the hard way that really more successful people say no to things than say yes. So instead of, you know, saying yes to that meeting that was put on your calendar that could have been, you know, a two or three emails back and forth and saved you an hour of your time. So you really could focus on the task at hand at your job, you know, whether, whatever it may be. Or maybe it was people wanting to, hey, dude, let's go out and let's go to the bar, let's go do this, you know, let's go fishing, let's go do whatever. And you thought, you know, if I, I really don't want to, I really want to actually spend time with my family, but at the same time, I do, want to go and do those things. You know, you really got to find out what's important to you and you have to learn how to say no to the temptations and to the people trying to divert your attention away from what your goal is, whatever that is, right? Uh, I think Alex Harmozy or um, somebody like that, I'm pretty sure it was him, described it as, and I love this, the way he described it, because it actually is a great way to visualize it, is if you're growing a tree, you wanna grow the tree really tall, right? And so basically saying yes to everyone is going off in different branches and different tangents to, you know, maybe getting distracted and going out, uh, um, not growing your tree straight up. Right? So if you're going out on all these branches, you're not actually focused on the thing you're trying to do or you're trying to achieve or whether it's getting in shape and you know whatever it is, growing your business or getting a promotion. If you are if you're keep taking all these branches off and not growing your tree upwards towards the thing you want to do, then saying yes to all those things is actually a detriment, right? And that made total sense in my brain. I'm like, okay, yeah, so now, you know, when someone, hey, I wanna go out for a drink after work or whatever, and you're like, no, I don't because I wanna be a better father or a better husband. I wanna make the connections with my family. And do you wanna go out and have a beer? Obviously, yes. But is that gonna make you, you know, a successful parent or a, a present and involved you know, husband or wife in your relationship? No, it's not. And what you need to say is no. Uh, same thing with, you know, if you're at work and you're, you have a goal, you have a project that you need to do and other people within your company or wherever, you know, are trying to put meeting notices on you. And I know I have, I've had bosses in the past that I've watched them struggle and become overwhelmed and burnt out by always saying yes to everything and always saying yes to, to the meetings and yes to taking on someone else's work or you know whatever it is. And then before you know it, a great boss turns 
into someone that's burnt out, a burnt out boss turns to someone that's not present and turns into a crappy boss and then they leave and they go to a different job. Whereas to be a successful, I think to be a successful employee even at a big company is you need to know when and how and who to say no to, right? And <clears throat> I'm gonna uh, branch off of that, I'm gonna jump off of that and sometimes saying no at work saying no to the overtime to when really what you want to do is go home and work on a side job you have or maybe you have a second job or whatever it is right you have a hobby that really fulfills you in a non-monetary way and always saying yes and doing the overtime because you feel like you should really isn't getting you to where you want to be so um Really, the, the biggest lesson I've learned is learning when, how, and who to say no to, and that actually more successful people say no more often than they say yes. So I know there's a little bit of a rant, but does that any of that make sense? If that makes sense, comment down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on that. Um, <clears throat> and with that, I wanted to talk about the who, who the hardest person to say no is two and I really have found the hardest person to say no to is yourself right you have goals of getting in shape and you you know you want you, your body would rather just sit on the couch or your body would rather eat some junk food or ice cream or whatever it is and you need to, your brain and your body are, are fighting each other or even your brain is fighting itself right you need to be able to tell yourself, no, nope, I'm not, that's not the person I am. I'm not gonna just sit here and watch TV all day. I'm not gonna be, you know, someone that makes unhealthy food choices or whatever it is. And trust me, I'm guilty of it too. I, everybody loves cheeseburgers and, you know, beer and pizza, like who doesn't? But in, in order to say no to yourself and to say, no, I'm not going to, I'm not happy with the way I look, or I'm not happy in my current job, or no, I'm not happy, you know, in whatever situation you're in, is it's up to you to say, no, I'm not gonna keep doing those things that keep me in the same cycle of not being happy, right? So you need to say, no, I'm not doing that anymore. No, I'm not gonna sit on this couch all day. Yes, I am gonna get up and work out because another great quote that I heard was um, doing something courageous, even if you don't feel courageous, is being courageous. Or same thing with working out when you're unmotivated to work out, even if you don't, when you don't feel motivated, that is motivation, that is being motivated whether you feel it or not, right? So being able to say no to yourself and being able to keep focused, stay focused on the things you want to do, right? Uh, no, I'm not gonna be dependent on drugs or alcohol or whatever it is to you know, numb the pain of the terrible situation you're in or the situa job you hate or whatever it is. Uh, instead, I'm gonna use, let's say, use alcohol or whatever as a reward as saying look i'm a strong capable providing man and i've done i've provided for my family i've done the work i need to do i've done my exercise and my workout for the day i've you know done all these things that are on my to-do list that you know you have to do whether you've actually made a to-do list or not but you know you need to do those things and you've done them consistently over and over, then at the end of the week, yeah, you can have a beer or two or three or whatever it is, or you can you know, have a slice of pie or a bowl of ice cream, right? It's all about being able to say no to the impulses when you know you shouldn't and being able to control your life and not have just your impulses and your feelings control you saying no to those things, saying no to yourself is probably the hardest thing to do, but has changed my life the most. So uh, with that said, uh, if you like this video, again, I've got a couple other videos uh, with some motivation and some lessons I've learned. I've 
got some awesome products from some sponsors uh, for, you know, I'm, I'm into motorsports and power sports, everything like that. Uh, so go check out those videos and we'll talk to you guys again later.